Hey, hey, welcome to another Valley Forged. And today I am reviewing the Wizmaker. Now this is my first impressions after setting it up and using it for about a day. I just wanted to go ahead and get this out there and let you know this was on the market. I mean, you may have missed this one if you weren't looking for it. And uh, it is a really, really nice machine. I'm just going to get that right out of the bag. I mean, it's built super well. And if you're somebody who just wants something really easy to put together, my goodness, finally, somebody actually thought about setting up uh, the laser, you know, from the beginning. I mean, you put in these four screws all the way around, two screws on either side, you adjust the belts, which is so easy. I mean, this is the easiest uh, uh, belt adjustment. Now there is a video out that shows you uh, how to put this together. Uh, I would advise actually to use the manual. Now the video is amazing, but I think there is a possibility of getting things a little wrong if you're not looking exactly at how it's set up, right? Making sure this motor is up front, not in the back, things like that. But man, does it go together easy. After, you know, putting together lasers over and over and over again, you would think I would uh, get way better at it and it would become easy. But the truth is, most of them are still a pain in the butt. But this one uh, is just really great. So if you were buying this for a gift for somebody or, or something and you wanted to make sure that they could actually put it together, this is the one. And cool factor for the uh, anodized a red compared to what everybody else has got. This is a 20 watt diode. It sounds like a jet engine. I'm gonna say that right off the bat. So one thing I loved about Ortur is that they made it to where the fan goes off when you're not using it. They're the only ones I think that I, I remember that did that. Now I wish everybody else did. So when you turn this thing on, you get a little delay and that's this power supply. My other power supply doesn't do that. Uh, on the same machine, I've tried it. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> you know, I just wanted you to hear it. It's very loud. And the that's the difference with and without the air assist. Now, the air assist has a little vibration to it. Uh, you know, obviously very nice. This is the new one that most machines are coming with now, which is nice. It puts out a good amount of air. And... Uh, it's small and hey, come on, it's more attractive than say something like that. But the one thing I like about the Ortur uh, air assist is that it has rubber feet on the bottom. This has a little piece, little pieces of rubber, but it's very little. And so I, I still feel a vibration here that I don't feel as much with the other one. Actually, that one's on and I didn't even know it. Did you hear any difference with that? <laughs> I, that's what I mean. Uh, so, but pretty cool, actually. And uh, they did this thing to where the power actually works together. So you, you only have one cord that goes to both. Now, that could be a good or a bad thing. Uh, if you want to put this somewhere far away, you're not going to be able to do that. Say you want to put it in the back like I have with the Ortur. The benefit though, of course, having one plug is kind of nice, but also, you know, you're gonna wanna turn this up and down, so you're gonna wanna have it together with the rest of the stuff. So I don't really see that as being a big detriment, and I'm sure there's ways around it. This is just a standard 24 volt. You could put another one on it. As you can see, I mean, very first thing I did, uh, I wanted to make something with circles in it. Uh, and words so that I could make sure everything was working the way it's supposed to. Now this line was already in the wood, as you can see over here. But, uh, yeah, in, every, you know, concentric cir circles there and uh, with some engraving right on the inside of that so I could see that it, it, was, it was working correctly. Now, I did adjust this right out of the gate, but it's so easy. I mean, I have... It is ridiculously easy to tighten these belts. Ridiculously easy. I think the X tool has this as well. And wow, that is so perfect. And the fact that you can get to the 
Is it concentric or eccentric nuts? <laughs> I just heard somebody say eccentric. I thought it was concentric. Anyhow, easy to get to that one to make this uh, pulley move easy. Uh, it was a little stiff right to begin with, but that's so easy to fix. And then you've got two on either side there that I adjusted a little bit, but it was so easy. Uh, putting this whole thing together, I, I've actually made videos on uh, lasers, you know, and how frustrated I was. I think it was the atom stack where I was just so frustrated. I had to put it together like four times. Uh, this one is just solid. It's built like a tank. It's actually kind of big. So you got to gotta get that but if you look at a picture here uh, with my longer ray 5 20 watt you see just how much bigger this one is and you know more robust and well made it feels like you know you're spending some good money on this and it really feels like you know they put some effort into it they figured out how you know let me turn this off Sorry about that, guys. Um, but as you can see, it's pretty loud. So as I was saying, uh, it seems like they just took their time and figured out, you know, how to what they wanted before they built it. And I feel like a lot of laser companies just don't do that. It feels like engineering is somehow the last thought. I mean, the cable management is that way as well. It comes with these little plastic things that hold the hose in and then and then inside that you can see there's a place to I don't think I could focus too easily but to put zip ties it came with them but I used these um, so that everything just goes together and it, it's it's perfect it doesn't need anything else it doesn't need a drag chain to be honest because that just adds more things I just got done uh, yeah, with the longer Ray 20, it had a drag chain, which was really nice, but it also adds more room on the side and it's harder to put together. This just made it so much nicer. Um, it, I am going to get to some things that I don't like, but there's not much. And uh, I don't want this to be the only video you watch on this. I'm going to make more, of course. I'm going to be testing. As you can see, I've done a lot of testing. And uh, I will get to some of my nitpicks about the machine here in a second. Uh, but I, again, I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. These settings, I mean, you may look at it and say, oh, well, it's not very deep or whatever. I didn't even check the settings. I literally just made, this is something that I, somebody sent me because I'm doing it for a project, obviously Stanford. And uh, <laughs> they literally, I just punched some stuff in and, and hit the button and uh, there it went so as I work on the project I will of course be making different settings for it and I'll, I'll probably put that in this in the video in the next video so working good everything is nice uh, very first time I turned it on that's when I made this first coaster so I didn't even do any sort of test grids or any things like this I literally just made the, the coaster right away the next thing I wanted to do, and we're going to get to my nitpicks, uh, is these things. You know, I, and I just watched Clack Shack's video. He's, I think, the only other one to do a video on this yet. And I highly suggest you go watch his as well. He took his off as well. I always do. I took it off on my other, every laser I have that has one of these. If it's available to come off, I take it off. But what I noticed is that I'm getting a little bit better performance with this on. And that's why there's you see so much testing here, is that I was testing with it on and testing with it off. And I was adjusting focus and just seeing what I could do. And it seems like I get just a little better performance with it on. And I guess that makes sense because you got all, you heard that jet sound. I'm sorry I left it on so long, but you heard that jet sound. Well, all of that is coming down through this as a tunnel, and I think it does add a little bit of performance to it. But I'm kind of willing to sacrifice a little performance to actually be able to see the nozzle when I'm doing, uh, when I'm, you know, framing things up. So far with the air on, another thing, the hose on this, it comes with a real hose, not some, 
you know, cheap little tiny hose like you're going to get, even with this nice Urtura one that I spent a lot of money on, it still has a tiny little hose that just, you know, feels like it's so easy to kink. Whereas this hose, it is very robust. It feels like an actual hose, not a piece of plastic. Uh, it feels very rubbery. It has a good length to it. It just, it, it feels really nice. So that well done on them for that. Uh, the air assist with everything. As long as you're running that, I have yet to be able to get any dust on the lens. I've checked it several times. If you do not run air assist, I got a little bit of smoke. And especially with this on. So I figured, you know, since you have so much air coming out that with this, that maybe it would be okay to not run the air assist. Uh, but that is not the case. I would always run a little bit. What else do I want to say? I want to say, well done, Wizmaker. I had no idea. You know what? Acer came out of nowhere to me as well. You know, I was, there was X-Tool, there was Artur, you know, several other big manufacturers. Was not expecting Acer. And now, you know, they're kind of the one I would recommend the most. They're not without issues. If you go to the, you know, Amazon or whatever, you're going to see, you know, there are issues there too. So I would really take a look at this one. It's got some things. I mean, these are like rubber feet as well, um, or very like sticky plastic because they, it really grips well. And it just feels like they paid attention to some details. Everything worked out of the gate, the limit switches, you know, it's a, uh, Really well done, and I think that you're going to see some other videos come out about this, and they're all kind of going to say the same things. It's just a, a good job, and uh, it's nice to be able to say that, because, you know, if you've watched this channel, you know that I'm not always a big fan of every laser I try. So what would I do as far as uh, buying this versus, uh, well, obviously it's quite a bit less than, say, an X-Tool, so I, I think it... It has an advantage there, but what you got to pay attention to is accessories and other things that you might want. I mean, yes, it might, they may come out with them. They may not. I mean, I think I was watching on Clack's video. They said they were going to come out with an extension. That would be great. Some people want that. Some people don't care, but I just think it's something to pay attention to of why you would buy one laser over another. And, of course, there is price. I mean, this is going to be right there a little bit less than an Acer and a little bit more than a longer Ray 5. All great 20-watt lasers. But, you know, you can see my side-by-side -side picture with the Ray 5. This is just a lot better technology. But, you know, my Ray 5 has served me well and I've made so much stuff with it. So, it's, it's always a tough call between price, performance... Uh, you know, cool factor, whatever it is, the way you like a company or don't like a company. Now, you can get this from Amazon, you know, and I think that's helpful because the link I have is, is for Amazon. It's not an affiliate link. Uh, there's no discount codes or anything like that as far as I know. It's just uh, they, they have a coupon already for a couple hundred bucks off, I think, right now. Or a hundred bucks off, I, I you know, I don't know. But overall, I can say my first thoughts on this. Great job. Good machine. Uh, I hope to make a whole bunch of stuff with it within the next few weeks and let you know how that goes. But uh, keep this one on your radar. It is uh, definitely one of the better machines I've tested. But you know after a few weeks of you know messing around with it, I can find some more stuff wrong. There's always, there's always something, right? Some other slight negatives that I might, might want to mention. Pretty uh, short cable. Uh, I actually have a really long cable that I, that I got that's been super useful. Um, so I don't really care about that. And the glasses. I mean, I, it, I may be incorrect, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is not the right color glasses for a diode laser. Uh, why don't you let me know in the comments? I'm sure uh, somebody like uh, Rich, Louisiana Hobby Guy, or one of the other reviewers will confirm that as well. But uh, yeah, I think these are supposed to be orange or yellow. Uh, kind of like these beautiful things right here that have been my favorites for a long time. 
So I just wanted to make you aware of that in case you get it and you want to take this shroud off. Uh, that you uh, don't think that you're protecting yourself if you have the wrong glasses. So pay attention to the comment section. I'll update you uh, if I'm correct there. Anyhow, uh, I hope you learned something from the video. Um, I will keep this going. If you have questions about it, just hit me up in the comments. I mean, there's probably a lot of things that I didn't go over that you might want to know. So yeah, hit, hit me up there and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Oh! Thank <laughs> you.